siblings, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the new year, 2022. Who's ready to have a good year this year? I am. I just wanna preface this video by saying that although it is the new year and it feels like a good time to reset and everything, you don't have to like reset your life in January. You can do it any month of the year and you should always be trying to better yourself. Sometimes I put way too much pressure on myself in January to like become this whole new better person and change everything about myself. So I don't like really setting too many new year's resolutions. I honestly like never really do that or follow them because I know I'll just be disappointed. So if you're in that boat, maybe this video is for you. What I am going to be doing is a reset for the new year because I've literally been on vacation for like two weeks. I went to my hometown, I was in my friend's hometown, hanging out there, and now I finally am home and all my Christmas stuff is still up. I need to unpack and just like clean my apartment and then get back into my regular routine because I've been gone for so long. I can't wait to just be in my regular routine. So first thing I'm going to be doing today is taking down my Christmas tree and and all that. Okay, so first of all, I have a bunch of sweaters because I did laundry last night, but I don't like drying my sweaters, so I set them out to dry. Um, so I need to put those away. I also need to put away all my clothes. But as you can see, my couch is pulled out and I have like this mattress topper on it to make it really comfy. It's basically like a bed down here. But I think it's time that I go ahead and put it away because it can be really annoying to like adjust blanket all the time and it is really comfy, but then I find myself sitting on the couch literally all day, which is better than being in my bed, but it's basically the same thing. So I think it's time that I finally just put all of this away then I can take down the Christmas tree also I thrifted this flannel it's so cute I like it a lot and it's like nice and thick for winter even though I live in Texas this couch looks so naked now like I forgot what it was like to just have a couch and not a bed right here. Now it's gonna look so open in my living room. That's crazy, I have so much room. Now, this is like red and Christmassy, obviously, but it is one of my favorite blankets. I don't know, let me see what kind of other blankets I have. If you guys don't know my couch, this looks up, it's really cool. I could do pink since it's like, you know, almost Valentine's Day. I could do just like this really, this one's actually really cute and like nice and neutral. But I do have like pinks in my living room. I could do both and like stack. I like this one a lot. But then that one is really comfy for like actually bundling up in. So, I don't know, but I do need to put all this on. I have so many blankets. I like just having a blanket kind of like right here to kind of just, you know, not make it all gray. Cue the time lapse. My living room is back to normal now. Let me show you. I've just got like my little table, nice stand, not nice stand. What is that called? Just like a side table. Yeah. And then my couch and then the other side table. And I moved the chair over there and I like that. That looks really nice. Cute. And then I put these lights up here cause I still like the vibes of lights. And then I also have these lights over here, but they're all tangled and I don't feel like untangling them to put them on the mirrors. So. So my next thing for the day is my Bible study for today. Um, the way I study my Bible is I have this book that tells me what to read every day and then I read it and study it. <laughs> I really wanna get into the habit of like the first thing I do is read my Bible cause that always just helps me through the day. But then I always get distracted. But I just wanna try this year to do it more at the beginning of the year. But honestly, as long as I am making time for God every day, it's fine. It doesn't really matter when in the day it is. I don't like putting too much pressure on myself to like, oh, if I didn't do it in the morning today, then I feel bad about it tomorrow. Like, nah. As long as I do it, good. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so my next thing is, of course, with this next year and just starting my job is I really want to start like working really hard at my new job. If you don't know, I'm a life insurance agent. I just started that basically last month. Um, so this morning, Abram came over and he's been working on doing some calling and stuff while I was just like cleaning up and working on some YouTube stuff. And then I'm gonna join him doing that for a little bit and then we're gonna go on a walk and then we both need to go to the grocery store. So we're gonna go do that. my apartment just finished at the store i hate when i do this i literally just living my life forgot to document it i know crazy um what am i doing am i even a real youtuber anyway um this was one of those grocery trips since i haven't been to the store in forever and like my fridge is literally empty i had to buy so much stuff that's like you don't buy every week and it still wasn't exp as expensive as sometimes that i've been to the store so i'm like i don't know because i was mo mostly buying stuff that i like okay pro tip Instead of just buying a bunch of random stuff, I was like, okay, I'm buying this stuff, which I know will make this meal that I know I'm gonna make on this day. And that's what I did. So I basically have my meals for the week or two weeks, because I bought a lot of food. Um, and then like some snacks. And it was cheaper than some other times that I go. And I was like, wait, this is gonna be so expensive than I actually was. So that was pretty good. And now I'm gonna go home and make food. I used to always bring my groceries in and put them on the counter and then put them away. And now I just throw everything on the floor so that I can just put it directly in the fridge. And it works so much better. Okay, I'll show you guys a little bit of the foods that I got. First off, a lot of soda companies are now coming out with like their zero sugar line. I love Coke Zero, so I've been wanting to try. So I got like Sunkissed, Orange, and 7up to try their zero sugar, see if I like it or not. And now let me show you guys some of my favorite foods. So. Julio's chips are literally my favorite chips ever. They also just made smaller bags. These bags used to be huge, and I'm so upset that they're tiny now. Um, my other favorite is this brand of HEB chips. They also rebranded these, and I think they made them smaller. That's annoying. My favorite snack ever are these. They're a little expensive, but they're so good. Um, they're like pomegranate covered chocolate, chocolate covered pomegranates. <laughs> um, what are some of my other favorite things that I get? Oh, literally every night I just make stuff in the Instapot, either chicken, sausage with green beans, potatoes, chicken broth. So I get a lot of chicken broth and meat and I literally have a billion cans of green beans because I eat them every night. This is not healthy whatsoever, but this is my favorite kind of queso. I just had to, you know, sometimes you just, it's, am I going to eat out or am I going to eat something bad at home? I'd rather just have something bad at home. You know what I mean? Save money. Um, this is my favorite sauce ever to put like in the Instapot with chicken and stuff if I'm not doing chicken broth or sometimes I do chicken broth and some of this. So that's like the brand and then this is the other one that I like from the same brand. So good. Um, I also got some applesauce because I was just randomly craving applesauce. And then last thing, I got a few other things but I just want to show you guys some of my favorite stuff. Last thing of my favorite things is this brand of cauliflower pizza. So good. I just love the way the cauliflower pizza tastes. So, there's my grocery haul. So this is what I ended up making for dinner. These are my leftovers. It's literally one of my favorite meals and it takes like five seconds. It's just cut up sausage, green beans, potatoes, chicken broth, and then I threw it in the Instapot and then I cooked it for literally three minutes and it takes like 30 minutes total with the pressurizing and everything. And it's so good. And it gives me so many leftovers and it's so filling. And then I just did the dishes. I actually ate food and then did the dishes right after. So the dishwasher is running. My house is clean. Oh, look at this though. So many boxes. Cause I had so many different kind of drinks I wanted to try. I bought a coffee maker finally. And then those are boxes from the fake presents I had under my tree. And now I finally have my own coffee maker. I forgot to uh, buy filters though. I might go do that tonight, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. So I can't make coffee tonight. But I've literally been going to Starbucks every time I want coffee. Now I can make coffee at home. So that helps with another New Year's thing where I don't want to eat out as much. Now the only other big thing, if I do it tonight, I'll feel so accomplished, is putting away my laundry. I did laundry yesterday. I haven't put it away yet, and that's like such a problem I have, but I don't know if I'll do that tonight. Okay, everything in my house is loud right now, but I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos, kind of relax, wind down for the night. Probably watch videos, maybe play some video games, and then go in bed 
and maybe try to go to bed before 1 a.m. tonight and wake up a little bit earlier. I've actually been doing good about waking up. I've been waking up between 9 and 10, which isn't too bad, but I really want to get back to waking up between 8 and 9. I was doing that for a while. I love the lighting vibes right here. Sorry, that was so like, sidetracked. Anyway, yay, games. It's honestly been so long since I've played games. My chair is going to be so cold. <gasps> oh, it's freezing. Oh, okay. Also, my hair looks like ridiculous right now because I didn't like the way it looked, so I'm like sitting in like three little braids to try to make it like wavy. Um, anyway, I'm gonna play Call of Duty. Comment down below if you guys ever watched my streams and if you think I should stream again. Because I kind of gave up on it, but I do find it enjoyable, so I don't know. All right, it's like 10 o'clock now, and I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of my nighttime routine. First, I'm just gonna fill up my water so I actually have water next to my bed so that I actually drink water. <laughs> I also just realized that I never took a shower today after my walk and like going to the store and everything. It was already kind of late and I was just like, eh, I'll just shower tomorrow morning. I could take like a soothing bath, but honestly, I just want to like wash my face and then go lay in bed and read a book. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I've been reading more, which is really exciting for me. Lights off. I love how my living room looks at night, but I don't want to sit in it. I just want to look at it. Like, can I sit over here and just look at it?